Why did NASA stop exploring the ocean? There are a ton of individuals inquiring why NASA stopped researching the ocean in the result of a search of NASA online. It's a good question, though not for the reason that you may expect. It goes without saying that Earth is an amazing planet with a fascinating past. It's the only planet in the known cosmos with life, huge dinosaurs formerly roamed its surface millions of years ago, and continental drift has greatly altered the location of the land over time. Welcome back to Discovery Scene. In today's video we are going to describe why NASA stopped exploring the ocean. Before getting into this video subscribe to our channel and without further delay let's get into the video. This thread examines the history of ocean exploration, NASA's purpose, and the connection between these two things in an attempt to confirm the integrity of this myth. Earth's oceans continue to be tremendously alluring, more so than practically any other region of the world. This is primarily due to the fact that the great bulk of the oceans are still uncharted. Over 80% of the Earth's oceans are completely unknown due to a combination of unimaginably deep depths, enormous pressure, and a dearth of sunshine. As you can think, some people's imaginations run wild as a result of the ocean's eerie atmosphere. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, is a separate federal agency of the United States that specializes in space research. These goals show that NASA's focus was on space and the atmosphere, not on exploring the oceans. However, has NASA ever investigated the ocean? Yes, but not in a straightforward way. NASA collaborated with other organizations to keep track of the gravitational anomalies which affected the oceans as well as the salinity of the oceans and the movement on salt on the Earth. The assertion made in this video is refuted by the fact that these explorations were conducted from space. Contrary to what the movie states, NASA launched CSAT, its first oceanographic satellite, in June 1978, not when it allegedly quit exploring the oceans. NASA has kept studying the oceans from space despite the satellite's failure in October of this year. According to NASA's website, quote, Today, there are numerous ocean observation satellite missions and a sizable scientific research community investigating this data. Each mission adds something special to our understanding of the ocean. End quote. By examining the Hadal Zone, NASA scientists are aiming to investigate this area and test the boundaries of life on Earth. Since it was discovered that the moons of Saturn, including Titan and Enceladus, as well as Europa and Ganymede, orbit Jupiter, additionally NASA uses terminology and language that is comparable to those used in space exploration. Marine researchers have sent several landers outfitted with cameras and sensors in recent years to crash land on the Hadal Zone's bottom and gather measurements there. The simple query, why did NASA stop researching the ocean, is an illustration of this. Some people think NASA was founded to study the waters of Earth, but soon after it started, it turns its attention to space. Although it's an intriguing tale, it is also untrue. In direct reaction to the Soviet Union deploying its Sputnik 1 satellite, NASA was established in 1958. Since 1958 and until 2022, NASA's only objective has been space exploration. NASA has never been utilized to study or explore the waters, though the institution does assist in developing satellite technology for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. As is common these days, a popular TikTok video sparked the question, why did NASA stop investigating the ocean? According to a video posted in March of 2021 by the TikTok user memes to click NASA's original purpose was to search the oceans. With the statement, they NASA, will not disclose to us what they found, but their intentions quickly turned to remove us off this planet ASAP, the film was almost instantly delves into a conspiracy theory territory. The US government established an agency to investigate the ocean's depths. Still, soon after the investigation got underway, NASA discovered something so terrible that they turned their attention to studying space travel in an effort to get people off of Earth. But all it really is is a story. Furthermore, the story is untrue. The history of NASA has been thoroughly chronicled over the years, and at no point has it claimed that the company was ever established to study oceans. So why are so many people who insist that NASA has never been probed with the oceans? Well, everything online comes down to attention, as with everything else. It's simple to garner views on TikTok, Twitter, or any other social media platform by spreading a paranormal conspiracy theory about NASA abruptly ending ocean exploration. They'll only keep coming as long as individuals continue to click on and view these kinds of movies. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we know about NASA being a worldwide organization, but it can't follow the deep exploration of oceans. 
Do you find any other way that NASA can provide to do this exploration? For many reasons, NASA is a remarkable organization. It helped build the International Space Station and put the first person on the moon. It also helped put the first rover on Mars. However, it doesn't have any history of maritime exploration. Despite what individuals might think, this is the reality. Let that serve as a warning to not take history classes from TikTok. In the first part of 2021, NASA's Pulse Jet Laboratory introduced Orpheus, a new underwater vehicle that employs its software. The Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, situated in Falmouth in Massachusetts, constructed Orpheus. In 2016, the Roadmaps to the Ocean World Group, or ROW, was established. It continues to work as we talk today. Outer Planets Assessment Group, or OPAG, a program with comparable objectives, was introduced in 2004. They had a conference in June of 2022 in Washington, D.C., and another one following the plan for that fall. Roughly 80 programs are now being performed by NASA, some of which have the potential to change ocean exploration completely. Therefore, it is doubtful that interest in marine exploration will wane any time soon. According to the most recent NASA incentives, the field is certain to experience unprecedented advancements in the next coming years. The WHO, or WHO, constructed the Nereus in 2008 to delve into the ocean's deepest regions. It was intended to function either autonomously or under remote control from the surface. However, the intense pressure caused the underwater vehicle to implode around 2014. Seven hours into a scheduled nine-hour drive at the trench's deepest point, the team of worried researchers lost communication with the vehicle. The team started searching close to the drive after the usual emergency recovery procedures failed and found fragments of the wreckage floating in the water. Later, it was discovered that the Nereus was the source of the fragments, indicating a disastrous implosion. Engineers at WHOI and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory focused on developing a fleet of Hadal automated guided vehicles following the Nereus event. Orpheus, Nereus' successor, was created utilizing optical navigation techniques that were also used by NASA's Perseverance rover, the rover that was placed on Mars. The underwater AUV builds up 3D maps that are peppered with markers or seabed markings by using highly sensitive cameras to recognize rock formations, shells, and other things that are on the ocean floor. NASA aimed to discover new biodiversity in the Hadal Zone and throw light on the current areas of interest through Orpheus. In order to combine the realms of space and ocean research, NASA launched the Systematic Undersea Biogeochemical Science and Adventure Analog, or Subsea, in 2017. In other words, given the most recent NASA incentives, interest in ocean research is unlikely to wane very soon. The area is rapidly expanding and the coming years will undoubtedly see remarkable advances. With that, we come to the end of today's video. Drop your comments in the space given below, and if you enjoyed the video, well then like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, bang that bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming videos, and watch some other videos from our playlist too for more such content.